Hey guys, Steve Welch here, Beeman Toyota in Nashville. Got some big news, of course. The Sequoia build sheets have started to uh, populate in the system, so I can show you some build sheets on the Sequoia. I'm gonna do that here for you guys. So I'm gonna start with the SR5. SR5 is available in both two and four wheel drive. Uh, gonna show you some of the options that the SR5 uh, Sequoia has on it. Um, and I'm gonna show you the most expensive one that I found that's being built currently, so you can see what some of those options are uh, when it comes to the price. I'm gonna show you one of the build sheets on it right now. Here is the 2023 Toyota Sequoia SR5. This is the base model. This is the four wheel drive of the base model. Uh, iForce Max Twin Turbo V6 7947. Uh, the two wheel drive versions is 7946. It's always one number uh, prior on the model number. Um, iForce Max Hybrid, you have a 10 speed automatic transmission. This was the most expensive one that I found that was being built, like I've been doing on all of the other ones as well, um, and that uh, you'll see as they come out here, um, $8,690 in options on this one. Uh, so your base price is right here. The 61.3 is the base price. Uh, you're always going to add in Toyota's processing fee, which is the 15.95. That is not a dealership processing fee. That is Toyota's processing fee uh, for moving the vehicle, prepping the vehicle, and uh, they charge that cost on all of them. So um, if you're looking at a vehicle, the minimum price that you will find on any Sequoia that is this four-wheel drive SR5 would be that 61.3 plus that extra $15.95 so if my math's right we're looking at $62,895 as the base if you found something that had absolutely no options on it um, but obviously there's some things that you can do so um, taking a look here you can see this one's got a sport package on it um, so it's going to say TRD Sport I'm, I'm sure on there 20 inch TRD alloy wheels so you'll notice that down in the build sheet as we get down in the build sheet it will say something different on the wheels so just pay attention to that but uh, the options and installed packages will always supersede anything that is on the standard equipment if it's something that replaces it like something like a wheel that's different obviously you don't get both wheels you get the package wheel in that case um but anyway so 21.95 on that one um once again if it says fio it's a factory installed option pio it's a port installed option um but uh so you see the sport package there it shows what's in the sport so you get your sport badging bilstein shocks and red trd engine start button um just like the tundra like i've said on a few of the other ones here too so trd leather shift knob aluminum sport pedals um, this is a, the premium package. So the premium package is what you get that's going to jump you up to the 14-inch audio multimedia. This is a really good one to show you because I'm showing you what you can go up to. And then I'm going to show you down in the bottom here um, what comes standard. So I definitely want to point this out to you. So the premium package, 14-inch audio multimedia, soft text trim seat. So um, soft text is your Toyota leather, um, which is your synthetic leather. Uh, power folding third row seat, so you're getting a power fold third row seat. Note that as well. We're going to look down the, the build sheet here as we go. Hands-free power lift gate, all right? So you get a kick. So hands-free power lift gate means you get to kick, and it will come open as you uh, kick that. So 400-watt um, rear cabin AC power supply and a cargo uh, AC power supply. So you get two um, all part of the premium package. So a tow tech package. So this is going to add your digital rearview mirror. Um, most of your upper trim levels are going to have that uh, as a standard feature. And then your trailer backup guide with straight path assist. Um, heated leather steering wheel is an option on this one. Obviously that's on there. All weather floor liners, port installed option there. The paint protection film on your hood, your fenders, door cups, mirror backs. Once again, a port installed option. You can read what it has here for what that is. Um, just the, the Mylar thing, the Mylar uh, um, type of coverings that go on the hood, the fenders, door cups, mirror, mirror uh, backs. Uh, TRD roof rack. Um, yeah, I think people are going to really like what that looks like. Um, door edge guards that goes on the edge of the door to keep you from... Uh, uh, chip of the paint there oh the owner's portfolio on this one 
um, cargo net, uh, cast aluminum running boards. You'll have a lot of different running boards. We've seen power running boards, there's predator steps, there's all different kinds of running boards that you can have. This particular one has the cast aluminum. If you're wondering what those cost, they're right there at eleven fifty-five. So, like I said, total optional equipment is eighty-six ninety on this. Uh, you can see why there's that that much of a price uh, difference there. But let's go down to these features. So. Um, when I'm showing you these features below here, this is your standard equipment. So like I said, know that up here will supersede this, but we're going to go through this here and I'm going to show you about what you get standard on an SR5 so you know a little bit about what you can do to go up. And then we're going to go over packages in a later video that I'm going to show you on what packages you can get on what. The SR5 is going to offer you the most packages out of any of them uh, because it's going to allow you to really option this vehicle up. So um, definitely know that before we kind of get started here. So um, iForce Max, obviously all of them are hybrid like we've mentioned. Uh, 437 horsepower at 5200 RPM. 583 foot-pounds of torque at 2400 RPM. Insanely low amount of RPM for that kind of torque, but that is what Toyota's done. Transmission's a 10-speed electronically controlled transmission with intelligence. It can learn how you drive and help to uh, drive, help, help you drive a little bit better, get you a little bit better fuel economy based off of that. So you have a fully boxed High strength steel ladder on frame type construction. The, if they build the car and set it on the frame, it's a nice, uh, nice way to do it. It's always the stronger way to do it um, and great for towing, of course. So um, ultra high strength cabin steel, of course. So your independent double wishbone front suspension, um, coil spring multi-link rear suspension. Same thing they're doing on the Tundra, guys. Um, so that's not really a shock. <clears throat> Excuse me. So twin turbochargers with your uh, electric wastegate valves um, and water intercooler. So uh, you also have your uh, electronic parking brake. So there's no foot brake or that anymore now. Uh, your ignition system obviously is what it is. Uh, you have a parallel hybrid system. So what's the parallel hybrid system? Parallel hybrid system is what's in the Tundra. You have your engine, your transmission, and your hybrid system all in line. It's not a traditional hybrid. It is a bit different so i um, definitely want to point that out for you so um coming out here you can see that you have 48 horsepower that is um just from your uh, electric motor so that creates that amount of horsepower from there you'll notice if we go over here 184 foot pounds of torque um so that's 48 horsepower and 184 pound foot pounds of torque just from the electric side of your new Sequoia. Um, Off-road engine body undercovers, your drive modes, eco, normal, and sport. Uh, nickel metal hydride battery. Um, class four towing hitch, uh, receiver wiring harness, seven uh, pin and four pin connectors. Integrated brake system, of course, with your multi-information display, uh, trailer brake type, uh, gain, all that stuff is going to be on your MID. Um, the low emissions vehicle, like I like to tell people, that means that in some states, check your local laws, but in some states you can actually drive in the hub lanes with a low emission vehicle. So you always want to make sure that uh, that's legal, but if you can do that, now you got a uh, four wheel on demand, of course. So um, it can actually flip itself into four-wheel drive if there's a need to, so that's pretty cool there. Um, you have an active aero front spoiler, so that actually means uh, from, I think it's the same thing as the Tundra from what I found out, so it can actually drop that spoiler when you get above 30 or 35 miles an hour to help you get a little bit better fuel economy. Active grill shutters, so um, there are shutters that go in the grill area right in front of your radiator, so it can actually deflect the wind away to help you get a little bit better fuel economy if the engine does not need the airflow. Um, obviously, if the engine needs the airflow, if it's 100 degrees outside, those shutters are staying open, so... Um, no issues there, of course. So electronic power steering, that is really cool. That's what helps you to get, be able to get the lane departure, lane tracing system to actually have the uh, power steering assist. Um, it's really uh, nice that this has this now. So um, electronically controlled braking. I love this, and I'll tell you on every one of the videos I do on the Sequoia, on the Tundra, I love that it's got a opposed dual piston brake caliper. Um, so you actually have four pistons that will push this. It is great. Um, 
it's just a really cool system to make sure that your brake pads wear evenly and you can stop your car. Um, it's a great idea if you're uh, talking about brakes. 13.6-inch uh, rear disc brake with a single piston. Uh, that's a big caliper, uh, or a big a, uh, rotor for the back brakes on any of the vehicles. So start-stop engine system, you can shut you down at a stop sign if, uh, or a stop light if uh, it needs to help you save a little bit more fuel that way. Um, obviously, if you drive a vehicle better, you'll get better fuel economy, and that's kind of uh, the hope with a lot of this, I would think. So stainless steel exhaust system, you have direct and ported fuel ejection systems. Um, also, obviously, you read your bore and stroke, all that right there, compression ratio. Um, towing, trailer sway control, steering wheel turns lock to locks, 3.4. Um, four wheel on demand. We already talked about that. They just put it in there twice. 10 AT means your 10 automatic transmission, 10 speed automatic transmission, 40 foot turn. That's uh, if you turn the wheel all the way to one side, you just kind of let it turn. You need 40 feet to make a full circle. So 40.22, by the way, so 40 feet would be just a little bit short, but, uh, iForce Max hybrid. Here is your weight rating. Obviously options can change that a little bit. 7585 is your weight rating on that. Exterior front door handles with your touch sensors. Uh, you, all you got to do is grab it. It'll unlock as you're uh, going to get in the vehicle. It's a really cool system. Uh, been around for a while, and Toyota does it right. Um, and by the way, a little uh, tidbit of info there. You should be able to grab that handle, hold that handle for three seconds, and it'll unlock the rest of the doors. Um, just a little uh, nugget of information. And uh, you definitely give me a like for that one because uh, a lot of guys that sell these cars don't know you can do that. So, uh, you're liable to buy it and you can teach your salesman something. So, um, appreciate y'all for that too. So thanks for putting that thumbs up in there and definitely subscribe while you're at it. Cause why not? You're there anyway. So anyway, <laughs> so, uh, you'll notice that black horizontal bar grill or a bar grill with your Chrome surround, um, uh, force max badging, of course, your washer linked variable intermittent windshield wipers. Um, the upper trims will have a rain sensing wiper. This one does not color key door handles and mirror caps. So all that's going to be the same, um, pretty much all the way up from the SR five, all the way to the top that will be color keyed the whole way. Gloss black painted pillars, led taillights, headlights. That's going to be led the whole way. Anytime you're dealing with a hybrid, you're tending to go with leds to try to save fuel. Of course, 18 inch wheels. Remember we talked about the wheels. If we went back up, to the TRD Sport package. So it's just 20 inch wheel right there. Um, so now if you come back down, you'll see your standard equipment. It's actually an 18 inch wheel. So if you wanted the SR5, but you wanted a 20 inch wheel, that's that's the way to get it. You grab the package and go up there. So um, when somebody goes, oh no, it's only got an 18 inch wheel on it. Realize that there are caveats to that, that you actually have the option to go to so front rear mud guards, those are going to be standard. Uh, heated power outside mirrors, driver side auto dimming. That is something that's the same on the Tundra. Driver side is the only one that auto dims on the Tundra. Um, it's also the other, only one that auto dims on the Sequoia. So blind spot monitor warnings are in there. It's heated mirrors, of course, power folding and reverse tilt down features. I do have a video out there showing you how to program the reverse tilt to the uh, level that you would want that to go. So um, black roof mounted shark fin antenna, single exhaust tip, LED, uh, fog lights around there. Here are your dimensions. I'm going to make it to where you have to really look hard to see that as I scroll up here, uh, but I'll leave those there so you can see those real quick. So um, like I've mentioned earlier, we keep, uh, and I'll mention this on a couple of the other videos, we kind of have a debate going on this because it says overhead console with window control. But then if you look down here, you see flip up rear window with the Frogger and uh, privacy glass. So um, we kind of came to the conclusion that this window control may be a side window push out, kind of like what Toyota has done before on the rear windows on like the minivan. So um, it might be something like that, but some of us, myself included, were kind of hoping that it would be a power roll down back window, kind of like what is on the Forerunner um, and the Tundra, but we'll have to see what actually comes out on it because I, I just don't know the answer, guys. So, but uh, it's kind of weird that it says both of those. So we'll see exactly why as they come out, of course. So electronic locking fuel door. And if any of you know the answer to that, you can feel free to put it in the comments. But nobody has one yet, so I doubt anybody knows for sure. But 
Yeah, we'll see. Who knows? So, um, front 12 volt auxiliary power outlet. What is that? That's your old cigarette lighter style, but it's not a cigarette lighter anymore. Um, your fixed center console, gated shift lever, driving controls, four cup holders, center storage bin, 60 40 split on your reclining fold down, tumble forward, second row seats with set, uh, your center. Uh, armrest. So fold down, fold up, tumble forward. You're going to notice that on all the Sequoias. So um, if you actually read what it says and look at it here, so fold down, fold up, and tumble forward. So you can fold it down, so pull it forward towards the front of the car. You should be able to tumble it forward from there, and then obviously fold up. So if it's up, you should be able to fold the seat up. So it looks like you can really set this to what you need it to be. So um, that's pretty awesome. So heated front seats, no ventilated. You want to go ventilated, you got to go up. Um, no heated rear seats, uh, you get that, you can go up too. So uh, panoramic view monitor, you notice that's standard. So pretty much standard the whole way, it looks like. So um, that's pretty cool. Um, drive mode select with switch and dial your multi-level adjustable cargo shelf system three zone automatic control so um, you can definitely control the air conditioner from the back seat uh, passenger seat whatever you want to everybody's got their own control um, well everybody front driver front passenger and then one person in the back should be able to control it uh, for everybody else in the back you uh, i'll flip a coin figure out who that person is i'm sure um, but uh, there you go so uh, power tilt slide moonroof is just below that one. So um, that's going to be a standard size moonroof. There are panoramic moonroofs if you go higher uh, in trim level, but the standard moonroof will be that with your siding sunshade. Um, leather shift knob, your 8 inch. So remember, we saw earlier, and I'm going to kind of highlight the whole thing here so you can kind of take a peek here. So that's what I'm going to point out here. But we're going to scroll back up here. And remember, we we're talking that it had the 14 inch right here multimedia system. So it had the 14 inch multimedia system. If you come back down here, this is actually standard. So, eight inch multimedia system with your eight speakers audio system, wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So, you still have the wireless system. But, uh, and if you want to see the differences between the two, look at the Tundra. The Tundra has the eight inch or the 14. It's a sister to the Tundra. They are sister vehicles. They are going to be very close to each other. So um, if you look, obviously you have the three-month Platinum plan on Sirius XM as well. Uh, so everything's going to have Sirius. Toyota Care, no cost maintenance program as long as you're not in one particular region. And uh, you guys can definitely put in the comments if you know which region that is. Um, but uh, there is one region out there you have to pay extra for the Toyota Care system, and it's not called Toyota Care, it's actually called something else. But uh, if you know the answer to it, put it in the, uh, the comments there, and I'll give you a thumbs up if uh, if you do that, and you're the first one doing that, I'll always give you a thumbs up for that. So, uh, tire pressure monitor system, Toyota Safety Sense 2.5, that is standard across all the grades, uh, 2.5 on it. Um, Pre-collision system, pedestrian detection, full speed, dynamic radar, cruise control, lane departure, lane tracing, uh, automatic high beams, road sign assist. It's got everything to keep you as safe as you can possibly be. Uh, it's almost where if you want to hit it, you got to aim at it. Hopefully you're not doing that. So, um, But it's going to keep you as safe as you can possibly have a system keep you. I'm, I'm convinced of that, um, which it has uh, kept me and my family safe and uh in my Highlander. So um, I love the safety sense system just because it has helped us to be a safer family, right? So eight total airbags, including driver, passenger side, knee and curtain airbags, blind spot monitors. Blind spots are monitor is standard all the way across the line on all of the Sequoias. Uh, rear cross traffic alert and trailer merge warning. Um, all of that is going to be standard. The trailer merge warning is going to be where it actually extends your blind spot monitor back further if you are towing to help to uh, let you know if you're about to turn into somebody that is in a spot where your blind spot might normally not pick them up. Um, driver front passenger active headrest, child protection, uh, rear door locks and power window lockout control. And like I've said a few other times with some of the friends that some of us have, uh, that child protection lockout or child locks on the back doors and power window lockouts uh, could be for some of your older and um, yeah, you're, let's just call it friends, um, <laughs> but uh, 
it could definitely be to keep them from messing with your vehicle. So um, just mentioning, but uh, drive start control, electronic, you know, you have all your safety, uh, safety system, electronic uh, brake system, your ABS, your brake assist, brake force distribution, smart stop technology, all that's right there. Front and rear parking assist with automatic braking. That's going to be standard on everything because there's nothing that does not have that listed on there. Um, and you definitely would want to shut off that automatic braking if you are uh, doing something like hauling a bike rack or going through a car wash. And I do have a video out there that shows about how to shut that off on the Tundra. It will be the same on the Sequoia. Uh, very easy to do that. And then guess what? It's got seat belts. Um, that's down here. Um, so <laughs> but uh, most cars do. Um, and then you can definitely read the disclaimers on the bottom there, but that is your build sheet on your Sequoia for 2023 in the SR5 trim level with a few of the options on there. Um, $8,000 of a few of the options on there for you so that you can see which trim level is hopefully the one that you want and definitely hope that you can like and subscribe. We always have some fun here. And hopefully you guys are very, very happy with the new Sequoia. Look forward to talking to you guys soon. Like, subscribe, Steve Welsh, Beaver, and Toyota. You guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.